Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are y'all doing today? And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Remy Ma looking like one of Nicki Minaj's bastard sons. Before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's talk in the comments. Okay, so I'm going hard at Remy because... Remy, I just saw a photo of you in one of Nikki's old wigs, like, and it just made me think of so many Nikki lyrics. When Nikki was like, um, was it worth it? Dummy, I am on the bit. Still on that show, getting no chips, time to dip. I definitely thought of the Barbie Tings um, diss. Then I thought of when she said, um, I see them copying my hair, tell them chop it off. Because you really sitting up there in one of Nikki old wigs on IG, you know what I'm saying? Looking all types of crazy. And it's like, Remy, all you have done in the last few years is prove how much you wanted Nikki's spot. Like, just how the real T with Pusha coming at Drake is just jealousy. Pusha wanting to be in his spot. And then look, it didn't work out. Uh, Remy, you just wanted to be in Nikki's spot and it didn't work out. You know, somebody, just how Kanye manipulated Pusha, Remy, somebody, and I've heard that it's Jay-Z, and I've heard that it's uh, Papoos, but it really don't matter. Some man, some messy ass man got in your ear and told you, you should go at Nikki, and that's going to serve you, and that's going to be how you're going to launch your career, and it just didn't work. Like... It just didn't work. Like, and now here we are. You run around IG in chains and you didn't slam down and you creating all of this pseudo drama with Papoose and you, you know what I'm saying, looking like a damn knockoff barb. You look like a dark skinned version of Cardi B. Because Cardi B be running around looking like a Walmart version of Nicki Minaj. Like all little, all of these girls, like all of them, they all look the same. They all go get their body done. They all go get a fucking chain. They all go get a colorful wig. They all go get some form fitting clothes. Like they all go get a bunch of designer. Like they all go fucking look just like Nikki. They all go do some makeup that looks similar. Like it's just really tiring. And Remy, I just like, you know, you probably really regret creating all that beef with, with Nikki. I'm sure you regret that because I can't stand when women go against other women, especially to serve men. It's just like, are you serious? And it's like, Remy, you did all of that. And now you're creating problems with Nikki when Nikki really could have had you featured on her shit because we not really check it for you otherwise, because at the end of the day, the truth is. You was just jealous of Nikki the whole time, and it don't got nothing to do with you going to jail. You went to jail because that's some shit that you did. You know, that ain't got nothing to do with Nicki Minaj. That you, you, you bitter and you jealous because you feel like Nikki got in when you were away. But when you came back, you definitely should have like just focused on yourself. And again, instead of trying to go against Nikki, why weren't you trying to get on a feature with her? Like you corny and you whack. And now you run around looking like one of her sons. It's ridiculous. Like, reminisce, you should have been focused on your music. And even if you wasn't going to focus on your music, I'm going to throw Kaya in this. Because I really liked when Kaya on Queen's Court um, was saying, you just came back from prison being around a bunch of females. You shouldn't be trying to beef with no Nicki Minaj. You should be at home catering to your man who stood by you the whole time. Because it's hard to find a loyal man. You and that's true, and I love that episode because I stand by that. If you got a good man, bitch, take care of your man. Fuck them hoes. <laughs> like you really should just be like focused on that. So, Remy, you looking corny, you looking cheesy. You know, yes, was it worth it in the end? Um, your the and another t another part of the t is just like Lil Kim and a lot of these other girls that beef with Nicki. You're just jealous because you're not as good. And I say this as somebody who's listened to you all. My mother generation is Remy, Mary J. Blige, Faith Evans, um, Lil' Kim. Like, that's her generation, Foxy Brown. I do think Foxy Brown is a better rapper than Lil' Kim. Um, and Remy, I never really got into you like that either. Like, I really don't mess with... Lil' Kim like that. I like a few of her songs. I like a, I like a bit of Foxy Brown, but 
I think Nicki is better than all these women. I think she's more talented than them all. I think her music is better than them all. I think she works harder than all of them. I think she's more focused on her music than all of them. And I think that's why she has um, succeeded so much. I think she, you know, did borrow some of Lil' Kim's Barbie style, but I think she really made it her own. And I think she does it bigger and better. And I just think she truly is. Again, the bars are there. The bars are hitting. And she's never had a scandal like Drake when it comes to writing. So you guys have to put respect on her name. And that's why I have my Pink Friday 2 tickets. And if you don't have yours, you need to try to go get yours because most of the shows are sold out. And if you also don't have yours because you're a hater, then you can have fun supporting these other girls who just, you know, are mid. Maybe you're just mid. And I really mean that because... People really come at um, talented people for just no reason sometimes. And I'm a talented person. And so I understand how opposition is. So let's talk in the comments, you guys. Do you guys think I'm just hating on Remy? Or do you guys think this whole time Remy was really just hating on Nikki? Let's talk in the comments. Bye.